lettering. If you haven't gotten your lettering in yet, you can do that now. Finish coloring and then scan it and then watch the video. Now let's add our self-portrait. Again, you're going to go to your place and you're going to locate a self-portrait that you have taken of yourself. It should have been one of your 10 photos. If you haven't taken a photo of yourself for a selfie, now is the time to go. I'm going to get a picture. Now remember, to bring in your picture, you'll go to Place. And in Place, locate your picture of your selfie. I'm going to locate my picture. Now that you have your picture, we're going to resize it. And I have a lot of windows, so I'm just going to clean up for a second. And here I go. I'm going to dry, drag it to about the size of one of my artboards already created. Our second is we're going to add an effect, which is going to be our blur. And we want to add a Gaussian blur on it. Hit preview. We want to use a blur within our range of around 50 to 75. Once you've decided on a blur between that range of 50 to 75, go ahead and hit OK. Now it's time to take one of your logo types, holding down your Alt key, and moving over your over type. You may not see it because it may be hidden behind the picture. So we'll have to go to Layers, and we'll need to look at our layers. And from my layers, I can see the blue squares. The blue squares highlight an active image. If you notice that your active image is below a picture or an object in front, it means the layer is hidden and we need to reveal it. So we're going to take our picture of our self-portrait and we're going to move that all the way to the bottom. Now it's time to use your eyedropper and pick a color from your image that you think looks well. And as I'm going around, I'm looking for colors that I think will work really well. That dark green seems to really shine here in my picture. And I now it's to choosing between the two colors. I'm going to go with the darker color. Now it's time to bring over Now it's time to lock your picture image. Bring over your lettering and resize your logo type. And again, I'm going to get that green color I thought was so good. Might be a little dark. And you have to figure out what really works for you with your picture. And then I'm going to center. I'm going to group, and there you have your design. You could also put the picture off to the side. It may change the color. This life rocks. I really like the color in that. Now it's time for some tying up. Look at your logo type. It should be in the center. And also, it should be rather small. And when I mean rather small, I should define that. Leaving one-third total on either side. Because your design is the lettering, your logo type should be much smaller. Now go ahead and add our last piece, which is the Adobe Youth Voice logo. Right-click, save image as to your folder. You may already have it in your folder, and if you do, you can then just bring it on in to our file place. Go ahead and bring it in. Resize it by holding your shift key. Find a innocuous area in one of the corners only. Go to your transparency once again and make it darken. Your logo the Adobe Youth logo should be smaller than your logo type. 
We'll put it in the corner. Now you're ready to export it to your Behance. You'll find your tags below the Adobe Youth Voices logo. You'll also find the words for the description of this project.